So David, thank you for taking the time to speak with us today about warehouse. Mm -hmm. um, so warehouses are evolving from simplified operations to more tightly integrated profit centers. Yep. Can you share some insights from your side on the market and even retail dynamics that are impacting today's modern warehouse? Sure. I mean, I think it, at the end of the day, it all boils down to speed. Customers are demanding or wanting products faster. Fulfillment speeds are, are increasing. And put that in context of the other sort of meta trend that we're seeing, especially in the retail supply chain, mm -hmm. is this idea of e-commerce and the pressures associated with e-commerce in terms of how product is being fulfilled. So we've transitioned or are transitioning from traditional pallet-based fulfillment to now item level fulfillment. Um, and so that does a number of things for, uh, for warehouse operations. Um, and probably the most impactful is that it elevates the sort of the cost and the risk associated with errors. So the focus on elimination of errors, reduction of errors is only increased as a result of these, of these pressure points. So I think that you know, the technology that we're, we're starting to introduce into warehouse environments certainly has that in mind. Building on that, mm -hmm. um, I wanted to talk a little bit about operating systems. Mm -hmm. You mentioned stability and maybe operating systems that they've traditional, traditionally been using in the warehouse. Sure. We've seen very wide adoption of Android in what we would call outside of the four walls applications, sure. so over the wide area network. Do you see a similar transition happening in the warehouse or inside the four walls? Yeah, yeah. so we're, we're at a very interesting inflection point in the market right now, uh, especially as it pertains to enterprise mobile devices or rugged handheld devices. Mm -hmm. uh, the legacy operating systems that have been running on these devices for years and years are essentially they've reached the end of their meaningful life. They're reaching the end of their support cycles in a couple of years. Uh, so there's a, there, there will be a requirement to migrate forward or migrate uh, you know, from those legacy platforms. Um, and Android is, uh, is, is certainly receiving a lot of that attention. and We've seen uh, fairly strong Android adoption, certainly starting beginning last year and, and through uh, 2015 in uh, not only uh, you know, beyond the fence applications, but also in retail store operations for what you would consider sort of more customer facing type of applications. Now that hasn't really translated yet into the warehouse. Mm -hmm. And I think that's a function of a couple of things. One is, as I said before, still a little bit um, conservative. Um, don't want to be a leader in terms of especially new applications or new rather um, OS platforms. Uh, but the other, the other side of that is there really hasn't been a, a, a lot of choice for warehouse um, investments. So when you're looking at the portfolio of devices that are designed for warehouse applications, uh, very few of them are running Android uh, and only really beginning in 2015 are starting to become available. So we do anticipate that to change, uh, but it, so far you're right in pointing out that uh, in the warehouse Android really hasn't been much of a story yet. Can you tell us what you've heard from consumers about um, what they're seeing as the warehouse role, mm -hmm. like any changes in the warehouse? Mm -hmm. I, I think it probably boils down, I mean there's a number of trends going on, but I think the most fundamental one that we're seeing, again, as you know, customers are demanding you know, products faster, as demand for warehouse space increases, mm -hmm. uh, is, is one of flexibility. All right, so a, I'm designing my warehouse uh, in a more modular fashion. I'm designing my warehouse to, um, to be able to support both, again, pal traditional pallet-based retail store fulfillment as well as item level fulfillment if there is a e-commerce uh, type of requirement or an omni-channel type of requirement. Um, and with that, with that flexibility, um, we're introducing a certain level of sort of multimodality in terms of finding the right technology to align with a particular workflow. So you have, from, from a technology standpoint, you're, you're looking for not only devices, but applications that are designed that, that can transition from one workflow to another. And then also from a workforce standpoint, going back to the training. So I'm, I'm being trained to, to perform various tasks in the warehouse. So we have multimodality in terms of the, the types of applications the, the device can support, multimodality in terms of the types of data that can be captured automatically, and then a little bit of multimodality in terms of the workflows that a warehouse worker will be able to support. So it looks like it's kind of an exciting time for warehouse yeah, than yeah. we've seen in, in the past um, that have to do not just with changing dynamics, you know, omni-channel, 
um, you said having higher SKUs, but also opportunity in types of devices and solutions that um, that can be provided to help warehouses meet those uh, meet those changes. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's great. Thank you for for giving us that feedback. Um, we really appreciate taking the time to yeah. sit and have a little chat with us. That was us. great to be here. Thanks, Thanks David. Thank you.